Yo, peace, conductor. peace, peace, man. Salute to you all. I am Conductor Williams. Thank you guys so much for tapping in with me. I'm excited to get into this video right here, man. We're going to get into how I made stories about my brother for my brother, Drake. Conductor. Yo, right back. I walked in the studio. No, I said I Let's get into it. I worked on 8 a.m. in Charlotte for Drake on uh, For All the Dogs, right? He did the video, time stamp joint. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. Dope record. And by this time, I, I built a working relationship with him to at least enough to kind of understand what he wanted, the things that he liked, where he was at. And the first thing that I noticed and learned about working with Drake is that he is a crafts person and also um, a person of the arts. That was the main bond. The main bond is the arts. The main bond is that I've developed a craft that I love and work inside a craft that I love, and, and he has too, and, and the respect was mutual in that way. And he made it so comfortable for me to be myself to where I start sending him the, the ideas that I've always had. The ideas I've always had, the things that I've always wanted to do, I was making these type of beats and sending them to not even arguably greatest artists of my generation. I'm sending him some of my... Uh, you know, the things I always wanted to do. With that being said, he told me he was taking a break. So we're in the middle of this great groove. 8 a.m. is out. For All the Dogs comes out October 6th. He kind of assured me that we was going to get back to it, but also was like, I'm going to take a little break at the same time. And I got it. You know, he had been touring all year, doing his thing. He had just wrote this album, and it's the end of the year, and I got it. So I'm like, whenever you're ready to get to it, let's do it. That was that. I kept cooking. Maybe five days after For All the Dogs came out. Maybe. I'm in this very house, upstairs, having dinner with my family, and my phone goes off. It's him. He like, send me some shit. I feel like writing. And that's all I needed. It don't really take much for me to get back to the basement and cook up. It doesn't at all. But in this, it's like, yo, let's catch lightning in a bottle. Like my bro ready to write. He's feeling inspired. You got the greatest, one of the greatest artists. Again, I'm going to keep saying this. One of the greatest of, of my generation inspired to write. Let's catch lightning in the bottle. So I got back down, sent him over some of the ideas I had. Family, I had an idea I always wanted to do. And that was create a Duchamp style piece, but in music. So I wanted to create a ready-made. Ready-made, that is ordinary mass-produced objects that Duchamp selected and did not make himself, and which he placed in art context in order to create new thoughts for them. But with music, man, which is basically sampling. So, so for y'all that even know what I'm talking about right now, it's basically sampling what I'm doing. But I wanted to just like straight up sample the joint no manipulations, boom. And it's about context. Also, kind of like leaning into that Virgil 3% theory that he, you know, has done some lectures about and interviews about, where it's just like slight manipulation. We're not going to redo the Air Jordan one, just slight manipulation. I always wanted to do that, but with music, this was the time. And the context, which is what art is, the premise of it, context for this is Drake. It is creating a place where he can make the pen move. All the space he needs, he's the frame, he's the room, he's the ambiance. Drake is the star of the show, all right? That's that's the context. It's not about making a beat for other producers to like, nothing. A solid groove, let Drake do his thing, the frame's gonna make the piece pop. I want it. Bass lines, a chord change, jazz and soul. That's all I wanted, and I found that Jimmy Q sample. Shout out Jimmy Q, man. Fantastic human. Great business. Sent over the stamps. Sent everything I needed. Jimmy made everything available. So shout out Jimmy Q, man. Funky dude. Funky dude, man. I found the sample. And I processed the sample a little bit. Um, so it's it's been processed a little bit. But here it is basically dry. Jamming, bro. Hey, hey, it was jamming like this when I found it, too. When I found it laying there, it was jamming like this. I just did a little bit. Right? I just did a little bit of processing to it. And I had this on loop, and I began to think to myself, right, like, I began to think to myself, what happens if I, like, kind of pitch some stuff around? Let's pitch it around at least at least, right? Just to see if, see if I can get another side of what the sample is saying. Ooh, 
That felt good. That felt good. Just pitching it up by by one felt good. So let's just do it to all of them. Like I wasn't even really thinking. I wasn't really thinking as much as I was acting in this moment. So now we got. Now we got the looper. Jamming to it. So I'm like, yo, put it in Pro Tools, send it over, right? Took a deep breath, left it on loop for another couple minutes. And I'm like, it need the kitchen sink on it. It need the kitchen sink on it. It need the kitchen sink on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I was a shorty, my job... Well, some of my chores for my family was uh, to wash the dishes. <laughs> so my mom would cook dinner. We would sit and eat dinner together as a family. And then I had to wash the dishes. So as the, the, the water, you done wash the dishes, the water's going down the drain, there's bubbles. You start making the beats on the sink as the water drain. <laughs> I'm the only one that did that. Lunchroom counter there, lunchroom table beat. So I found a kick and a uh, a rim shot that I wanted to use just for a little bump, a little bump. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, conductor, we have yeah. a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. And now we in the middle of it right now. C -c conductor. Simple pattern, bro. And we in the middle of it. Jam it, bro. Jam it, jam it, jam it. Conductor. Ooh. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor. Yeah. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Ooh. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor. Conductor, we have a problem. So there's like a little bitty piece right between the kick and the rim shot. A space that I felt like I could utilize that Drake didn't need. And it's just this little ride. Just this little ride. Stories about my brother, man. Again, it's context for more than it is a production. The piece of art is context. And this is a lot of reason why I take the time to study art history is because I feel like anything that I can read, I can conceptualize and apply. For most beat makers, I didn't hurt. So many things that beat makers say, man, I didn't hear beat makers say a beat is a beat is a beat. It's about the rapper. And I, that may be true. That may be true for them. But for me, this is a part of how I express myself. And whether it is like a ready-made piece or if it is a thousand piece puzzle, 3,000, 5,000 piece puzzle. And I honestly feel like that that day. When I made that, I felt like putting together a 10,000 piece puzzle and every little meticulous thing and flipping things and, and doing that. Some days it ain't. Obviously, more than thankful for the opportunity to be on a platform that Drake provided in that way, but also gracious and thankful to our Lord to be able, our Lord, our God, the God above that made the heavens and the earth for all of us, the air that we breathe, um, our God, uh, that provides for me and my family and your family, in my opinion. I'm thankful to God that he 
gave me this gift of being able to express myself in this way. And that's, I can't ask for any more than that. I can't ask for any more than an opportunity to feel like I have a desire inside that doesn't have words attached to it. A, a feeling inside that I can express, an idea that I can express. And God has given me this gift of music to do that. And I'm so thankful for that, man. So a fantastic moment for me to have in music. Stories about my brother, Drake. The merch is still going crazy. Conductor, we have a problem. Com. Conductor, we have a problem. That's all I got. Till next time. Conductor, out. Conductor, we have a problem.